Today we are going to be talking to you about how to travel Philippines. We're going to be covering the route that we've done, the budget you're going to be spending out there. We're going to be covering accommodation, transportation and also food. So Philippines is known as the land of smiles and we can honestly see why because Philippines was filled with the most friendliest people. When we visited the Philippines, we were shocked at how little tourists there was. This is due to all the islands being so spread apart that tourists actually get put off by going there. So the Philippines is made up of 7,107 islands, believe it or not. But choosing the ones to go to may be difficult, so we're gonna try and help you out in this video now. So you will most likely catch a flight and arrive in either Cebu or Manila. For us, we arrived in Cebu and although there isn't too much to do there, it did give us a nice feel of the Philippines. I'd say two days is plenty. After Cebu, we then jumped on a ferry, or well, actually three ferries, which took in total six hours to get to Sikoko Island. For us personally, we didn't have the best experience with Sikoko Island. However, loads of other people we spoke to said they had an amazing time do go to Seacoat Island, but do not stay at a place called Tourist Guest House. We're not going to go into detail on it, but it was the worst hotel we stayed at in six months of traveling Asia, so do not go there. Bed bugs, just disgusting, don't go there. But Seacoat is where to have some really incredible things. Yeah. There's waterfalls and there's a really crystal clear beach, so do not get put off by what we are saying. Yeah. So after our time in Seacoat, we then got on a ferry, which took us all the way to Oslo, which is our favorite destination in Philippines. We used to take the moped out around there and just drive around the little villages and everyone would be so friendly, waving at you, smiling, always willing to help. And it's just a really cool little town. So during our time in Oslo, we swam with the amazing whale sharks. It was super cheap, like 20 pounds and it's a really yeah. great experience. We visited waterfalls and we also had some of the best mangoes of our life. And they were the cheapest as well. So after our time in Oslo was finished, we then moved on to Bohol. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it properly, Bohol. <laughs> Bohol or Bohol. Bohol. And we went there and this was the most developed place we had been to in the Philippines. We had some great times there as well. We went to see the world famous Tarsiers and Tarsiers are becoming extinct so it's really nice to see those animals. We saw the most beautiful beach in the Philippines there. Had a few litre bottles of beer that we found there, which was like 70p for a massive litre bottle of beer. And we even witnessed six people on one yeah. moped. After Boho, we went back to Cebu and caught a flight to Puerto Princesa. When you're in the Philippines, you will either be doing El Nido in Palawan, or you will be doing Boracay. They're both meant to be beautiful. We just chose Palawan. So from Puerto Princesa, we actually felt really, really sick. I got seriously ill, bed bound for the next two to three weeks in Philippines. So we did not get to experience any of this. However, we are still gonna explain the route that you can do. In Puerto Princesa, there is the underground river. Most people only stay one night and then they catch a six hour ride to El Nido. Also, another tip for El Nido, all the hotels are quite pricey and really basic. Electricity cuts out and Wi-Fi is a bit scarce, but it is meant to be extremely beautiful. I would not miss El Nido. That is a possible route that you can do. Like John said, there is over 7,000 islands, so your route may be very different. I'm sure all of the areas of Philippines are beautiful, but do not miss it and don't get put off by the flights. Yeah, we loved it. When we were there, when we were well, we had some amazing times and it was probably the most beautiful country we went to. Now we're gonna cover the costs and the budget you will be spending in the Philippines. So Philippines, like all the other Asia countries that we travel to, is extremely cheap and you can live off literally nothing every single month. We chose to spend around £1,000 a month. However, you could probably do it on about £600 a month. We just spent a little more, stayed in a few nicer hotels, ate a bit more expensive food. If you're on a tight budget, £600 is a reasonable number to spend. Accommodation. So the accommodation in the Philippines is really simple and just basic, but it has everything you need. So don't expect too much. We spent £10 each a night, which was £20. However, you can get homestays and hostels as cheap as three to four pounds. So if you are on a tight budget, then you will find good hostels. The food. Okay, to be honest with you, the food in Philippines was probably the worst 
in all of Asia. No, it definitely was the worst. We ended up once actually eating intestines by mistake, we didn't realize. And there just wasn't that much availability for nice food. However, the one thing they do do that's good is a lot of barbecue, so you're saved for that. And also their bakeries out there. The bakeries, they have some amazing cakes, which are really cheap. So we pretty much ate bakery for lunch and then had barbecue you for dinner. Street food, your street food is super cheap. It could be a pound each. Um, yeah. In Philippines, like I said, it's not built up for tourists, so you're not really going to find many restaurants. And bakery goods are around 5 to 10p each. So, so cheap. cheap. <laughs> if all else fails and you hate the food, you're just going to have to live off fruit your whole time. Literally, but the food in Philippines, sorry to the Filipinos out there, <laughs> disgusting, man. The transport. So the main methods you're going to be using in the Philippines are going to be ferries and aeroplanes. Aeroplanes are going to be a slightly more expensive option, but a lot more quicker and more efficient. Ferries are going to be a lot cheaper but will take a lot longer and it won't be the comfiest journey. So it's up to you on your budget depending on what you want to do. In terms of flights, you can get really cheap flights through Air Asia. Just book in advance and you could get flights for around £30 each way. It's super cheap. So just for getting around your local little villages and towns, obviously you're going to be getting in tuk-tuks. You're going to be jumping on mopeds and also we actually a few times jumped on the back of a moped someone else driving it so a moped taxi i'd say the best way to get around and the cheapest is probably getting a moped out if you haven't had a moped before they are safe do your research beforehand but mopeds are the best way and cheapest really also if you're going to be getting a moped out the best way to probably do it is through your hotel it might be a little bit more pricey but i just found it to be more safe that way than you sort of have that trust with your hotel compared to just going to a shop where they might rip you off. Not definitely, but they might. Now we are gonna be covering 10 top tips that are gonna come in handy whilst you travel throughout the Philippines. Tip number one, if you are catching a flight to the Philippines, they will not let you enter the Philippines unless you have booked an outward flight. So make sure that you book an outward flight before entering the Philippines or else you will not be allowed. Tip number two, as I said before, the food is really nothing special. Don't expect anything nice and prepare for this. Especially if you're coming from Thailand, you're going to be disappointed. So tip number three, if you are traveling to Oslo, there is only one ATM machine, which is probably about a 45 minute drive. In El Nido, there is no ATM machine. So make sure you stock up on your cash and then you won't need to worry. Tip number four, when you are in the Philippines, make sure you try their fruit, even if you don't like fruit, especially the mangoes. They were the best we ever had in our life and they were so cheap. Tip number five, rent out a moped. I think it's a necessity to rent out a moped. You get to explore the island for yourself. Stop when you want, see what you want. 100%. It's, and you know what the best thing about renting out a moped is? Everybody says hello to you. you it's a great through, experience. Yeah. So check out the video on the screen now of our adventure we had in Oslo and you'll get a really good idea why you should be taking out a moped. Tip number six, as said before again, if you are starving and you can't find anywhere, because normally for us barbecues came out in the evening time, just live off bakery food, just eat cakes for lunch and you might get a bit overweight, but it's good and it's worth it. Tip number seven, don't ever be afraid to approach the Filipinos. They are so friendly. They all speak great English. It's like their second language. So always approach the Filipinos and they'll be more than willing to help. Tip number eight, book your flights in advance so you can get them as cheap as possible. Air Asia is the best airline to book. Tip number nine, make sure you go to Oslo and go and swim with the whale sharks. It's very cheap for the great experience you're gonna have from doing so. And you just have the most amazing time. You see these massive sharks, but they won't eat you. Don't worry. Tip number 10. Visit El Nido. Do not miss it. It's meant to be one of the most beautiful places on earth with clear blue seas. Don't miss it. Thank you for watching our video on how to travel Philippines. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope we gave you some information on how to get around. And if you also have any questions, then contact us on Twitter. Comment in the section below. We also have a blog. Or hit us up on Instagram. We're going to be posting a load of articles about how to travel Asia, Philippines on our website, so go and check it out. We do also have a video on how to travel Asia overall. We went to five different countries, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Indonesia and Philippines. So go and check that out and check out our vlog channel where we film every single day on our travels. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing time in the Philippines. And we hope you don't get all like us. Thank you.